In this video, I'm very quickly going to go back and look at what the compound line graph I'm going to use this for bivariate data. And that's going to be our food type, our favorite food type, and gender. Okay. If I can find it, I'll show you. You'll remember what this looked like. This was our compound line graph. It had one graph for Joe and a separate graph for Betty based upon their die rolls. This is the image we're looking for. If you can guess, we're going to have a one line for males or males and females. Separate lines for males and females being different colors. But instead of having numbers here, we're going to have the food types along the bottom. Okay? You could have four lines for food, but we're going to have two lines. Okay. So, using our same data, our highest frequency needs to be six. Because in this case, we're not, we're not going to put the lines together. We're going to overlay them. So we need a frequency of six. So on my left hand scale, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I always go a little bit higher than what I need to, just in case I've messed up. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to end up, our, the graph we're going to draw was we're going to have, we're going to have Chinese, American, Mexican, Italian. We're going to have one graph for females and then another graph overlaid on top of that for males. Okay. We're going to use two lines, but we're going to have four references along the bottom edge. So. I'm going to create a gap here, okay. put my first value here, that will be for Chinese food. Then I'm going to skip over, get a little bit farther, say over to here, put American food. Skip over farther to put Mexican food and a little bit farther to put Italian food. Okay, favorite food type. Okay. Now, I need to do each gender separately. Okay. There were three females. I'm going to do the female line first. There were three females who enjoyed Chinese. So I go one, two, three. Put a dot here above Chinese. There was one female who cared for American four females who cared for Mexican, one, two, three, four, and two females cared for Italian. Okay. Whatever the color of the dots are, that should be the same color as your line. Okay, And you connect them from left to right. You don't connect them high to low, you connect them left to right in order. Okay. I'll need a different color. We'll use red for males. Males had two, six, four, three. Okay. Two, six, one, two, three, four, five, two, six. Now they were the same as females, so we'll just circle here. And over here it was three. Okay. 
In our problem, you had 10 females, 15 males, so you might expect the male line to be higher than female. That's fine. So connect those. What we need now is a key to distinguish between, we know the food types, we need to distinguish between the colors, okay? We'll put black for female and red for male. Male, M-A-L-E, okay? What's left off of my graph? got labels, I got scales, I got the lines drawn, the dots, everything's neat, consistent, evenly spaced out. I need a title. So favorite food type my gender n equals 25. Okay? I guess you could say, okay, there's 10 females and 15 males. But your reader should be able to figure that out. Two females plus six would be, or two plus six is eight, and eight is four is 12, and three is 15. Oh, yeah, that's your males, okay. Probably should have put that in red, but it's okay. Now the graph is done. Please remember the basic idea of statistics is information collection and analysis for informed decisions, decision making. Okay? We collected the information after dinner, your dinner party. We've analyzed it and drawn a graph. Now the informed decision making says if only females come to your next party, American is a type of food you could not, you could do away with serving. If males come to your next party only, then you have to have American food because that's a definite preference within the males. Okay.